G'day, how's it going? Long time no see. Um, yeah, it's been ages since we put out a video, so apologies for that. Um, but yeah, we've just been pretty busy and we needed to get um, a few things sorted out with our editing gear and really need a new computer and stuff like that um, to start doing things a bit better and a bit quicker. Um, but yeah, we're getting that sorted out at the moment, so I thought I'd do a video. So yeah, just going around the trap line today, it's just a small line. Um, the main line that I wanted to set up at the moment um, is across the river, and the river's been high all summer. It's just been pretty wet down here in Southland, so yeah, I haven't been able to get across the river and um, set that big line up, so this is kind of just a small in-between line. Um, just just up the road from home, but um, yeah, some beautiful bush up here. Um, and yeah, we've got a drone recently, a couple of days ago. So I'll have a play with that today and see if I can bloody um, avoid crashing it into a tree or something. But uh, yeah, we'll go around the line. I've had it set for about a week. Just been moving a few traps each day and uh, it's catching pretty well. And yeah, we'll be, um, might see if we bump into an animal later on. We've got a ridge to walk down to get back to the truck, which I haven't been down yet. Um, so yeah, see what happens. Sweet. Catching a few possums. It's a beautiful day out there. This trap needs pulling. Hasn't caught for about four days. These fuchsia flowers actually taste pretty good, they're nice and crunchy. Oh shit, the drone doesn't like the wind, that's for sure. I didn't think it was that windy. But anyway, we took off, I took off out of this little gap here. And then it just started flying over the ridge. And I tried to bring it back. I tried pushing return to home and it just um, it couldn't get back, it would just keep blowing away and I had to wait for a, <laughs> almost hit a few treetops, wait for a um, gap in the wind to bring it back and put it down quickly but yeah, that was a bit of a relief, shit. Well, we're up on the ridge top now. It's a bit more windy even still up here. Catching plenty of possums though, there's another nice one up there. Yeah, it's a bloody nice ridge this one. Lots of nice big old potter carps. And quite a few big porkaka trees as well. This is a porkaka tree, a bloody old one. 
the old possums like the leaves on them. They're quite a good feed tree. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Good one to put a trap around anyway. That's it, last possum for the day. Just got a few traps to set out that we've pulled. Um, and then yeah, be knock off time. Righto, so that's the ridge we come up. Setting out our last 10 traps here that we've thinned out from the line. Just going to go down the spur here, back down to the main creek, and then out back to the ute. Quite a handy wee tool, this. It's a Christmas present from Abby. Yeah, it's bloody ideal actually. Well, the things you find when you're stumbling around in the bush all day. Some bloody strange looking rocks. I assume it. It used to be like an orb, like a ball. Looks like the top of it's come off there. Yeah, quite strange. It's like those boulders that are um, at that beach, but yeah. Haven't heard of rocks like that way up the bush anywhere, but no doubt, no doubt they're around. Quite cool, really.